question about you, Mortician. You bang the dead bodies. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most foul mouthed sitcom characters. I'm gonna call that stupid POTUS myself. Seriously, I'm gonna tell him to shove it up his ass. For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite characters across live action and animated sitcoms who just love to swear. To be fair, we'll try to limit our profane picks to one character per show. Which character's foul mouth make you laugh the most? Head to the comments and let us know. Number 10. Eleanor Shellstrop, The Good Place The show's writers came up with a very clever way to let Kristen Bell's lead character Eleanor on The Good Place curse up a storm without the censors putting them all in the bad place. Somebody royally forked up. Somebody forked up. Why can't I say fork? In this afterlife, people aren't allowed to swear. But that doesn't stop Eleanor from dropping harsh language. It's just that we hear her say things like bench, ashhole, and holy mother forking shirt balls a lot instead. Holy mother forking shirt balls. She also had no problem letting folks know of the explicit exploits she got up to when she was alive. We want to do that thing where we're arguing and fighting, but then suddenly it's like, whoa, this is hot, and we start making out, dream on, or whatever, fine, let's just do it. The character's upbringing and view of life left her with many sharp edges. However, Eleanor's unique swears were always worthy of a laugh. Number 9. Sterling Archer. Archer. If James Bond didn't take his job seriously and was constantly screwing up, you'd get something close to Sterling Archer. I am the best at this, Rain Man, okay? I'm like, Who? Um, James Bond? Well, I don't like to invite that comparison, but yeah, basically. The super spy is a selfish spy who spent most of the show's history looking out for himself, drinking, and constantly using colorful vocabulary to belittle his co-workers. He's had countless rants throughout the seasons that would make us laugh even if they weren't overloaded with swear words. Yes, idiot, I do. Sorry again about myself. But you are kind of being a bitch. Whenever Archer is on screen, it's almost a guarantee that the audience will hear a healthy amount of beeps. While it doesn't make Archer sound that professional, he's usually able to come through in the end and complete missions. Well, I find your drunkenness very unappealing. I am drunk, or I wouldn't be talking to you. His rude behavior and actor H. John Benjamin's perfect delivery are staples of this hilarious spy show. Number 8. Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. It's impossible to think about adult cartoons in the 90s without a certain two slackers coming to mind. Told you to stop that asswipe. <laughs> He's gonna whip it out, butthead. Where Beavis is absolutely unpredictable, Butthead is relatively laid back. But they are both profoundly idiotic, oblivious to how normal people should act, and have potty mouths. The duo's sense of toilet humor leads to a lot of dialogue that isn't exactly highbrow. I am Cornholio. I need pee, pee for my bunghole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> would you like to see my bunghole? But honestly, that's exactly what has made them endure over the years. The two are so inseparable as foul mouthed pop culture icons that it was a no brainer to include them both. Creator Mike Judge did a fantastic job voicing them and bringing them to life. You've never been to a concert in your life. Shut up, buddy, your mom's a slut. Beavis <laughs> and Metallica suck. Even nearly 30 years after their introduction, they could both still use some lessons in manners. Number 7. Susie Green. Curb Your Enthusiasm. While Larry David's interactions with anyone make us laugh, it's his dynamic with Susie Green that we love the most. The kid is home hysterical because her doll, Judy, has been decapitated. Because you two sickos took the head for God knows what reason. Some voodoo shit you're doing. Where is it? Although they run into each other a lot because she's married to Larry's best friend, the two almost never see eye to eye and are often getting into heated arguments. 
Susie's outspoken and opinionated nature leads her to throw tantrums that are littered with filthy language. I'm taking you for everything you have, mister. I'm taking your balls and I'm thumbtacking them to the wall. You're gonna get nothing out of it. She especially keeps things fresh by finding creative ways to use a certain four-letter F word. Fortunately, the writing pairs wonderfully with Susie Essman's absurdly hysterical performance. The hell did you do? Oh my god. It was your fault! It was not my fault! If we were to meet her in real life, we'd do anything to stay on our good side so we can avoid one of her notoriously filthy speeches. Number 6. Maurice the Hormone Monster – Big Mouth Big Mouth is one of the most awkward shows to tackle the pains of puberty. The cringeworthy journey wouldn't be complete without the rude and vulgar hormone monster named Maurice. Puberty fairy? Puberty fairy? I'm the hormone monster. I'm not a fairy. Voiced by Nick Kroll, the character has no problem talking about the physical and very adult urges that the cast has. While it's hard to guess what's going to come out of his mouth next, audiences know they'll either howl with laughter or cringe heavily at his bluntness. I hate that you like this, but it's the only way to get my skis. Oh! Ooh, my proctologist is never gonna believe I didn't do this to myself. Maurice is a character that isn't afraid to get absolutely disgusting in any episode. He perfectly represents how hormones can make people think of really filthy things. Stay focused. I can't stay up all night. I'm getting my hair pubed in the morning. You're getting your hair pubed. Carlo is opening early for me. Number 5. Selena Meyer – Veep Honestly, we're not sure if we'd vote for Selena Meyer to represent us in politics in real life due to some of her unprofessional behavior and words. The level of incompetence in this office is staggering! But as a TV character, we couldn't get enough of her. Played by the brilliant Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Selena begins the show as the underappreciated Vice President of the United States, who will curse openly at and in front of staff. Get off the plane. Up the plane. Uh, ma'am, we're taxiing. I don't give a shit. Once she attained more power and became president, she didn't make that much of an effort to soften her tongue. I will have my administration come to your shitty little district and shake it to death like a Guatemala nanny. And then I'm gonna have the IRS crawl so far up your husband's colon, he's gonna wish the only thing they find is more cancer. <laughs> Selena continued to spout profanities and edgy language while stomping on the happiness of her underlings and enemies. Her staff was probably a little wary every time she spoke in public. Number 4. Riley Freeman – The Boondocks Back when the edgy Boondocks show was in its prime, the great Riley Freeman stood out as a fan favorite character. My name is Riley and I live across the street. Oh, with the mean old man? Yeah, that's my granddad. Don't mind him, he a hater. Look, I don't want to be dick fried or nothing, you know. I just want to say that I like your music. This third grader who constantly wanted to come off hardcore definitely had a hardcore vocabulary. At any given moment, Riley might just let off a stream of words that wouldn't be allowed in most elementary schools. Huey. Yeah. I don't like losing. Well then, stop beating yourself. Huey. Yeah. You still a bitch. Like many foul-mouthed children before him, we couldn't help but laugh whenever he cursed. The notion of such profane language coming out of such an adorable-looking and sounding character was hilarious. However, we have to admit people like Santa have learned that Riley's actions can be just as hardcore as his words. <laughs> Number 3. Roy Kent – Ted Lasso Brett Goldstein's Roy Kent has become one of our favorites in a show packed with lovable characters. While this at times abrasive coach is very quotable, we'd definitely think twice before repeating any of his lines in polite company. Jamie Tart is a muppet, and I hope he dies of the incurable condition of being a little bitch. Fueled by anger and profanity, Roy can intimidate just about anyone he comes across with his words alone. He's so prone to cursing that even his niece Phoebe picked up on his filthy language. Do you have any idea where she might be getting this from? Mm. 
As Roy continues to grow into more than just a rage-filled character, we pray he'll never forget the power of a well-placed swear. Because the show simply wouldn't be the same without his harsh mouth. Because Jamie, deep down at your core, you are a prick. So just be a prick. Number 2. Rick Sanchez – Rick and Morty This mad scientist has quickly become one of the most recognizable cartoon characters in recent memory. Look at you sitting there king shit on his throne of loneliness. Enjoy this toilet with a thousand of me screaming every time you take a shit. His wild behavior, irate rants, and his heavy use of swears has made sure of that. Rick can't help but flex his superior intellect while throwing in a handful of low-class words along the way. Listen, Morty, I hate to break it to you, but what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed. It hits hard, Morty, then it slowly fades. While the show does bleep out a fair share of his more extreme swears, there are uncensored versions of his adventures that will make any intergalactic traveler blush. And he's also not shy in the slightest about talking about his X-rated adventures in front of his daughter or grandchildren. And I'm gonna drug it up and suck it up before each one goes kablammo, and I'm taking my favorite grandkid along with me. Rick's negative views of the universe have made him unable to care about both his numerous acts of violence or censoring himself at all. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eric Cartman, South Park Is there an animated or live-action sitcom character more dedicated to profanity than Eric? Stop trying to bogart my Xbox, you fat bitch! All right, that's it. You're going to time out. For over 20 years and counting, this vile little boy has made us cry tears of laughter while also making us grateful we don't have a kid like him. Insensitive, crass, greedy, and sometimes prone to immense brutality, it's remarkable that the other kids haven't completely shunned him. Butters? You're gonna take that butthole? Why? Because Butters isn't a total dick to me. I have never been a dick to you. Oh, please, all you ever do is call me names and rip on me for being Jewish. Not that it would matter to him, as he seems to derive extreme pleasure from damaging the well-being of others with his actions and words. With every passing season, South Park finds new ways to let Cartman dive further into depravity. God damn it! <gasps> oh, please don't take the Lord's name in vain. Who cares? I can never win my bet because you stupid assholes don't give out platinum albums! And we couldn't be more thankful that they've given this foul-mouthed character such a big spotlight. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.